Hi, this is Avinash. I'm one of the founders of Market Motive. Today we're going to talk about multivariate testing, and you're going to have a lot of fun, I think, because it's really amazing the power that multivariate testing has brought to all marketers in the last few years. We've made a tremendous amounts of progress in our ability to do some really amazing fun things with multivariate testing, and that's what we're going to cover in this web webinar today. The first thing that I want to talk about is that we've already discussed the benefits that come from multivariate test uh, or any kind of testing as a matter of fact. So if you've not had the chance to listen to the segment that we have on benefits of multivariate testing, I highly recommend that you go back and do that because you'll get a good feel for how experimentation and testing of any sort helps you give your customers a real voice as well as dramatically improves the pace at which you can learn from uh, from your customers and in fact uh, validate the ideas that you have um, from various parts of the organization. We've also already covered A-B testing in another segment, so if you've not uh, checked that out, please do, because I fundamentally believe that A-B testing is a great stepping stone into other kinds of more advanced ways of doing testing. Um, there's a simple concept where you can take multiple versions of a page and use your existing technology and infrastructure, your web servers and other things, as well as the existing web analytics tool in order to go to try different versions of the page and figure out which one works best for your customers. So definitely check out that section. But what we're here today to talk about is multivariate testing, which is um, essentially in some sense very different from A-B testing in the sense that in A-B testing, as you saw in the prior, prior slide, you have multiple versions of a page that you'll manually create and put up on the web server to test. In multivariate testing, they take this example that's in front of you. Um, a challenge is to figure out what's the best way to sell 100 roses. Um, that's the image that you see right here in the middle. Uh, but on this page, you'll also notice that there is some, uh, some nice white space over here that could be probably used better for this website. And um, the hippo would probably walk in and say, hey, where's the order now button? We want people to be able to buy this stuff. So, um, and you could have many other ideas, a different call to action, different images, different kinds of things you could put on a page. With multivariate testing, the wonderful thing is that you don't actually have to go create multiple versions of the page. All you do is take the take a JavaScript tag, um, you add it to the page, and you add a tag around the sections that you want to test. So for example, in this case, we'll actually go ahead and segment out the page with the main big image with the 100 roses in a vase. And really, who doesn't need 100 roses? Everybody needs 100 roses. So what's the best way to sell it? Also, we could put another tag on the top area that we just saw with the best sellers and see if we could try some other pieces of content in there that would convince people to buy better. And in the area where you see the other cross promotions and upsells, um, there's an order now button that our HIPAA would like to see. So that's another thing we could try. So all you do is you tag all of these areas and you upload all of your creative and content that will go in any one of these three sections and you simply um, put, send a test live on the website. 